So you don't have to remove these two because this is break right here. This is the cabinet filter here. Go ahead and put that on, on the stick attack. This, go ahead and squeeze this tab here. Put this out. I'm trying to kind of find out everything, guys. Just go ahead and remove this one too. I'm going to take these screws out. Talking about this piece here, guys. Sometimes you have this piece up here and this side. That's it. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be working on my E93 BMW. Okay, guys. So, in today's video, I'm just going to show you guys how to install a new valve cover on your E90 BMW. You know, it's going to apply for all of the E90s. You know what I mean? It's going to be the same process. And um, I'm going to show you guys the correct way how to do it. You know what I mean? Because I have an experience on the first one. I think I do about maybe six to seven valve cover already. Valve cover gasket and stuff like that. It's going to be the same thing. You know, if you do the valve cover gasket or do the valve cover, it doesn't matter. It's going to be the same process, kind of. You know what I mean? So, um, I'm going to show you guys the correct way how to do it. Because you can break the chain guide or the chain rail, whatever you call it, if you don't remove certain stuff. So, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about when I get to that part. Alright? So, let's get started. Okay, guys. So, this is what I'm talking about. So, we're going to remove everything from up here, guys. So, you're going to remove the wiper blades this thing here you know what I mean, I'm gonna pop all of these off here just hold this on pop it up like that guys, that's easy to come out you know what I mean um, we have a two, two eight millimeter here I think it's four of them Let's go ahead and back those out and uh, we're gonna try to keep these um, Keep this video short guys as much as possible there is two more here but in my case i don't have to remove these two because this piece is break right here this is the cabin air filter here go ahead and back that off and, and just take that off this go ahead and squeeze this tab here put this out i'm trying to cut up this video to make it short as possible guys so I'm just gonna point out everything guys just go ahead and remove this one too and go ahead and take these screws out I'm gonna go ahead and remove the wipers. Take this cap off. Okay guys, so these are some 16. Go ahead and get a 16 socket and back that out. After you back that out, if you have something like this, it's gonna make it easier. You know what I mean? Because sometimes that can be stuck on there. Use this and get it up. You can get this at Harbor Free or online Amazon and stuff. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and just take those off. So okay guys, so after you go ahead and remove the wiper blades, there is two bolts, one here and one on the other side here to take this off. Alright, this piece here you can just kind of yank it out just like that and get a flathead screwdriver, pop these clip down, three of them just right down. Okay guys, so after I remove that piece up here now we're gonna go ahead and remove these straps here two side these are some 14s and I think these are 18s or 17s there's a big one in here all right so we're gonna go ahead and take these out okay so I go ahead and remove the bolts them guys but before we go any further I just want you guys to know that Remove your negative battery terminal before you start this job. Okay, because you don't want to like when you take this in, taking this out and touch it on here, that can cause problems. You anyway, know, this is a positive terminal here. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. Okay guys, so after that you can go ahead and take this out. Take that up just like this. There's some wires down here, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect those. Unplug the wires under here, so we can just move that out of the way. Okay guys, so let me show you what's going on now. When you remove that piece there, you wanna remove these 10 bolts here. And take this piece out, cause we wanna remove all of this guys. You know what I mean? Cause this is a hard plastic and this is gonna be in the way. When you're trying to take up the valve cover, it's gonna be bucking under here. You know what I mean? So. When you remove all of these guys, it's gonna make the job way easier. We can disconnect this hose easily and all that. All right, so see some 10 bolt here. Go ahead and back those out so you can remove this piece here. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, guys, so I go ahead and take those out. As you can see, 
so we have a lot of room here now guys you can easily remove this pipe here you know what i mean feel like it kind of break already so we're gonna have to replace that but um i'm gonna do it in a separate video all right so okay guys so to remove these ignition cards we're gonna have to um cut these tie straps because somebody um installed those and put a bunch of tie straps on here all of them we're gonna have to go and just cut them i guess maybe they they cannot fit some type of way or something and then do it like that i'm gonna have to check that out and see what's wrong all right see this wide and pull that out they look pretty new too you know but I'm gonna check out the wiring and see why it's not plugging in. Can I have an idea maybe what they're running to? Um, I'm gonna remove this too. Because we wanna um, have as much room as possible, guys. You know what I mean? That's how I work. Careful with that, can can break. It's easy to break, guys. It's rotten. Disconnect this. Plug that. This year we're gonna have to disconnect this to also. But we're gonna continue on with all these move all the ignition coils guys. Okay guys, so I remove all the ignition coils. You guys can see. So we're gonna have to remove these little nut here and make sure you keep those. You don't wanna last them, but that's so important. It's like if one of those are missing guys, the car like we start and cut off and stuff like that. Um I remove this where are you from? I'm right here. So I can get to put everything back there. Um, so I'm gonna Okay guys, so yeah, go ahead and remove everything now. So to get this piece up pretty easy, what I would say, when it's on there like that, you fly the clip, put tension on it, like hold it up like this. Tension and fly all of them go all the way down. And then it come up pretty easy. All right. So we're just gonna move everything over here. So this piece here can just pull it out guys. Alright, you see a bunch of oil around here. Because there's a gasket in here so that's leaking too. Alright, so to take this. Okay guys, so before you go ahead and start pull these bolts here around here. Um, take out this Valtronic motor here first. There is two bolts, one, one in here and one over this side here. It's three total. There's another one under here. You guys can see that it's straight, it's right here. Not this one, it's straight. So go ahead and back those three out. Okay, so after you go ahead and remove the bolts, you can just go ahead and stop this out, guys, just like that. Okay. So now um, we have these bolts here to remove. We're gonna have to get a deep socket to remove those one here. I think it's three of them. Yeah, one in here. One over the end here. Alright. Um Okay guys, so I go ahead and pull all the bolts. Um you wanna go around and make sure all of them free up and stuff before you try to lift it up. You know? Yeah. But the thing is, why I say move everything. Because we want to try to keep this as straight as possible when you're taking it up, like straight. You don't want to pull it this way. You know what I mean? If you try to pull it this way, you can break the chain guide under here. I'm going to show you guys that. So this AC pipe here, it was stuck in it a little bit because it was out of the slot. Make sure it's all the way down in here. Okay. If it's up here a little bit, it's going to be stopping the valve cover from coming up. You know what I mean? So do that and um. I remove the 10 bolts and from here and hold this in place. I remove it so it can move back and forth and then come right up. So what I was talking about, I was talking about this piece here guys. Sometimes you will have this piece up here on this side here. And if you're yanking it and trying to pull it away from the back there, you can break this off, you know what I mean? You're gonna have to have a timing tool to you know release the chain tensioner you're gonna have to release the chain tensioner take this out and all that buy a new one and replace it you don't want to go through all that so just remove everything over there so you can just take it up straight so you don't have to yank it all right use like some carburetor spray 
around here, we have a bunch of grease, you know, we just spray it down and then wipe it down, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, um, okay, guys, so make sure it's seated properly on there before you start tightening down, you know what I mean? Yes, guys, so we're gonna put back the valve tronic motor here. I clean it up a little bit, just tuck it back in here. So we have new gasket in there and all that. Stuck it back like that and catch back the bolts and all that. You know what I mean? And that's it. Put back the ignition coil, connect back all the wires. And that's it. And the job is done. And I mean, put back those things over there too also. Okay guys. So I go ahead and install back those ignition coils and all that. Put back that piece over there. Um, I don't trust these ignition coils. So I'm not going to put on back the engine cover and put on back all that. I'm not going to do that until tomorrow. I'm going to get some new ignition coils and, and, and throw away these ones. They're not, they're not fitting right. I think it's going to cause a misfire. So I'm just going to end the video right here, guys. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, guys. So like I said, we're just going to end the video right here. You know, I don't think I have to show you guys the rest of the little casket stuff that need to go on. You know what I mean? That's nothing. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm going to do the ignition coils and stuff first and spark up and all that before I finish installing the thing. You know? So, yeah. So, guys, if it's your first time on the channel, please go ahead, like and share and subscribe, guys. You know what I mean? So, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one.